Hi, this is Jason from the QuickBooks team. QuickBooks Online Advanced has workflows with templates that help you automate repetitive tasks. But you can also create your own custom workflows if you need even more flexibility. Let's set up a custom workflow and go over the different types of transactions you can set them up for, how to add in the conditions that will start your workflow, and how to tell QuickBooks what to do after the conditions of your workflow are met. To start, select Workflows, then Templates. Note that your navigation may look like this. You'll see the list of workflow templates here that you can use. But for this example, we're going to create a custom workflow. In this window, first select the kind of transaction that triggers the action, and then select the action you want QuickBooks to automatically perform. For instance, if you want QuickBooks to automatically prompt specific people on your team to approve an invoice before you send it to a customer, select Invoice, Approval, then Next. We'll call this workflow Invoice Approvals. This workflow triggers when you create or edit an invoice. Based on the dollar amount of the invoice, QuickBooks either automatically approves the invoice or contacts someone on your team to look at the invoice before it's sent to the customer. In the When This Happens boxes, you choose what you want QuickBooks to look for. And in the To Do box, you choose what you want QuickBooks to do. Select the first When This Happens box. For this condition, QuickBooks looks for invoices between zero and $1,000, but you can change these numbers or add another condition, like location of the sale or customer name. Select Save to confirm any changes. If an invoice matches those conditions, this is what happens. And if it doesn't, there's a different result. Select a box to edit or delete what you want QuickBooks to do. Here you see what QuickBooks does if you record or edit an invoice that is between zero and $1,000. If you want someone to approve the invoice, select their name from the list and choose how you want QuickBooks to notify them. Since these invoices are lowest on the dollar amount scale, let's just automatically approve them. Select Delete, then Delete again. If you want to add the action back or add a different condition, select the plus button. Next, set the action you want QuickBooks to perform if you record or edit an invoice matching these conditions. Select the Do This box. For this type of invoice, you want a team member to approve the invoice before a customer sees it, so select their name from the list. You can notify them with a task, which adds a task for them to perform in the Task Manager. You can also email them. Note that by default, the email only goes to your business's email. Select Edit and add their email here to send the email directly to them. You can also change the email message. Select Save Email. If this user has installed the QuickBooks Online mobile app on their phone, you can notify them with a push notification. Select Save. Make sure to assign someone from your team for any Do This box. You can't save the workflow if you leave any action empty. Note that you can only have one active invoice approval workflow, so set up all of the criteria you want QuickBooks to check for that relates to invoice approvals in this workflow. When you've filled everything out, select Save and Enable. QuickBooks lists your new workflow in the My Workflows tab. From here, you can turn the workflow on or off and I'll also edit or delete it if you change your mind. Now you're ready to set up your own custom workflow.